Hey, this is a quick look at the thermal performance of the K322L and starting with the CPU I don't have any undervolt applied and all I did was set the PPT to 56 watts. I have the CPU fan running at a constant at pretty much a constant uh, fan speed of 1500 RPM. For me this is a pleasant sound level and it doesn't require the fan ramping up and down all the time. <clears throat> the graphics card I will start with at default fan curve and voltage curve. <clears throat> Steel Nomad is... Uh, I don't know, it's uh, the newest, probably more most uh, taxing benchmark but because it's pretty short I will finish up with a round of time spy at the end. Now we see the default gets yields us the average score. <clears throat> so nothing unusual. Mm, yeah. We have a peak voltage above one volt and a peak power draw of 122 watts with the default fan curve. This is my custom curve that I would recommend. And I leave the, but I will leave the fan curve at default for better comparability. I reset it again. Uh, I will apply the curve this time. We drop about 10 to 20 watts and what you notice is that the clock speed is much more stable and uh, yeah the 26 25 <clears throat> I think is the sweet spot for uh, for at the at RTX uh, for thousand generation. Also see that the CPU is far below the 56 watts PPT limit. Uh, maximum power draw, maximum temperatures at a 
voltage well below one volt. Yeah. And our score is barely impacted here. So quickly do quickly do times by. Again, an average score. <clears throat> Finally, let's look at uh, sign bench, and this is around the score that I get with this PPT setting. <clears throat> so this is with a maximum with the power draw uh, locked at a maximum of 56 watts and now I, I searched for I searched for what I can expect with a default PPT which I think is around which I think is around 88 watts. <clears throat> and what I found was around uh, 800 points higher is what is usually to be expected. Uh, is it a single? Yeah. <clears throat> But like I said, the effect in gaming is far lower because as you can see, even the and as you can see, even the non X3Ds perform a little bit better than the X3D. So that's not that's not what makes it a good gaming CPU. And it's the biggest effect that you can ever expect because all the cores are taxed and the 3D cache isn't helping much. To summarize, let's look at the maximum values that we reached. We have the CPU below 80 degrees with a maximum power draw of 57 watts and a fan speed of 1500 RPM, which was the uh, baseline for me. So we didn't have to ramp up yet based on my fan curve. And we have the GPU with the default fan curve and a custom voltage curve maxing out at below 70 degrees with a total board power of 110 watts and a fan speed of 3300 RPM. Thank you for watching.